What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cozy Saturdays. Today was a long day. I really didn't do that much, but it was a long day. So first I woke up at seven. I had the rest of the meat, so I swam 53, 100 free, 100 I am. And that went well, it really did. I did, it was a back-to-back, -back, first off. My 100 free was okay. I'm not very proud of it. I'm not even gonna put the video in it. Doesn't matter, it's 100 free. I don't train for it, so it's not a big, important event. But 50 free, I did really well, 20.7. Here's the video. That was a really good race. But then I had a back-to-back -back 100 IM. So I literally finished the race, got up on the blocks, and was the second heat, right? And that was kind of tough. But you know what? I learn from every racing that I do. That's why I do it. You might have seen that this is just kids I'm racing. And it's just high school stuff. But it's I do it for myself. I do it because every time I race, is another experience. It's another learning process. Okay, now Paul gets out. Now watch this. Paul gets out and does 100 IM. Just right back in? Yeah, the meat went really well. It ended up around 12. I got back home. I cooked a little bit. Went to bed at 2. Woke up at 6. I had one of my friends come over and we we're hanging out until now. And we watched Avatar. So tonight, I want to talk to you guys about Avatar. Which, in my opinion, I think it's the best movie ever. In my opinion. They're coming out with a new one too, which is good. But let's talk about Avatar. I started having these dreams of flying. I was free. Sooner or later though, you always have to wake up. Okay, so f for whoever has not seen Avatar, just stop this video right now and don't watch it. It has a lot of spoilers and you just want to enjoy the full story without any spoilers or anything. So for a three hour long movie, it, they really don't give you any extra information that you don't want to know. It's all basic stuff that you need to know to understand the whole plot of the movie. And then it takes you right into the action. And that's the craziest part. So from it, the first day that this marine gets to see the new planet, which is Pandora, and he gets to see it because his brother dies and he was a scientist and he was part of this project. But the whole idea 
is that he gets to go to this new planet and gets to try this avatar. And then in his first day, he experiences it like straight head on. He gets chased by this black panther, lion, whatever mountain stuff that is. And then uh, gets accepted into the avatar or to the Amatikaya people. So that's the natives of that planet, which is crazy. Just like his first day, like, hey, welcome. Here you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, who's bad? That's right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bitch. So what about this one? Run, don't run, what? Run, definitely run! <sighs> Dana. What was that all about? I also like how disengaged he is. He did not study the language. He did not know anything about the planet or anything that happens there. He just goes there and has a good time. So I think they did a really good job at building up characters and introducing them. But I want to get to the point fast and I want to talk about one aspect because it's a three hour long movie and I don't think you want to see me rambling about a three hour movie and about every aspect and I don't want to deal with that so we're going to cut this short and we're going to talk about the bond now the bond is a connection that they make is a connection that symbolizes so much more than that it connects themselves with animals and with plants and with the planet itself it is all connected through the bond and that is so, such a special special aspect of this movie And after that, there's the natives that we see they bond with trees and they connect to their ancestral memories so they could hear them. That just means that everything is connected and everything still lives and there's a, something more to life than just living and dying and then even when they bond with themselves so when they two pair up and they make love they do the bond i don't know how that's gonna work with making babies honestly but we'll find out that in the second movie because the trailer it's the thumbnail for the trailer is babies avatar babies <laughs> but I'm really intrigued and really surprised by this concept When they were in battle, fighting, you see how the 
dragon dies and it gets shot but what you don't understand is she felt how it it got shot and because of the bond and because of the connection that I had and that is just crazy to me to think how first off he's not in his own body so he's in an avatar second off he can control another being with a bond and you don't even need to so you could basically fly you could basically ride the horse but like it being part of you and part of your body because you have so much more control and it's like it's crazy you could tell how fascinated I am I cannot even talk So the ultimate bond is made when they decide to move him from his old body into his avatar permanently. So he won't need to transcend through the machine and through the human body anymore. So he basically could leave the human body behind and just be an avatar. And everybody gets connected through Ewa, which is a tree. That's the mother of everything and she decides whether he's worthy to be part of the people or not and in the in the ending he wakes up and from that there on we'll see So if you haven't seen Avatar, please go watch it. It's a really good movie. It's a really good story. And now you have something extra to think about. So that's really what I wanted to talk to you about tonight. In Avatar is the bond. And I hope I did a good job. It's also 3.30 in the morning when I'm filming this. And I really should be going to bed soon. But I also want to give you a good content, you know, I don't want to just be me swimming and because I didn't have time today, I didn't have time to film and I don't want to not have a social life anymore, you know, I need to enjoy my time, I need to be out there in the world doing whatever I want to do and then this is a little bit extra, which is okay, I would I would have stayed up anyways. But I hope it makes sense. I hope I'm able to share my ideas and my thinking with you. And I hope it's in an understandable manner. But yeah, that will be all for today. I'll see you tomorrow with a lazy Sunday. And until my next video, keep playing the game.